Hello team Mavens. All right, let me give you a quick update on the story. I'm a new photographer and I'm in a journey of just experimenting and learning beautiful photography. I did some searching around YouTube. I found a list of uh, different ideas to experiment. This video, we're gonna talk about long exposures or light trails. These are really cool. They are basically cars that are driving by. So a long exposure, you leave the, the shutter speed open five to 10 seconds, and then cars go by and the lights will cause the motion and the whole background is still. So last night I went to the train, I caught the train, I'll show you a picture of that here. And then also I did a city street. Now I'm gonna go step up a little, a little bit, maybe take some pictures of some cars in the train downtown. Maybe if I can get an aerial somehow, a rooftop or something. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. I hope it turns out it's exciting all the build-up and just to get one moment that's what I love about photography so let's see how it goes oh one other idea if I can stand still enough I'm also gonna try to capture me in there so let's see how that works all right we are headed downtown it's still a little bit light out I was hoping to get there during the golden hour, maybe set up, take a few shots downtown, PDX before the sun goes down and shots at night. Can't wait to set up, maybe I'll scope out a few places. All right, we're gonna do a little change of plans here. I'm downtown. So since we're here, I thought I'd do a little more urban photography, maybe a, a looking up shot of the skyscrapers. And then there's a really beautiful water fountain. I'm gonna get on top of a parking garage. So we're gonna see how that one looks. That's a lot of bikes. I can get myself standing in front of the Apple store along with the train light trails. I'm gonna stand really still and see how it turns out. So let's go do that. All right, here's what we're gonna do. See the, the Apple store's over there and we got the train coming from there. So I'm gonna try to set up and get a light shot of the train with me standing in front of the Apple store. Let's see how that turns out. There it is. I tried on this corner and the train ended up slowing down to where it just blocked the store. So I need to catch it on the other corner. We're gonna try over here as it takes off away from the store and it gains some speed. And then I can catch the background of the store and the train lights in a trail. So we're gonna try that. Okay, we're running to a couple problems here. I'm on the corner, we have the train coming down here. The problem is it's coming in too slow because we're in the city. If we're out of the city, it comes in faster. So it really doesn't give you that light trail when you're going really slow. So I haven't really figured out a workaround. I could try going farther, maybe a block, and catch it at its highest speed. That might be an option. But if, it, if that doesn't work, I might just have to call it a night. In the meantime, when I was setting up, I was doing a so a portrait, I got a really good picture of a portrait of me standing in, and dreaming in front of the store. So we might just go with that for tonight. All right, final tip of the vlog today. Good news, bad news. Good news, you can check out the photo. It's pretty sweet. I got a money shot of the light trail. Bad news, I didn't get the Apple store. Can't really see it in the background. I'm about a block from the Apple store. It's about a a block this way. I set up my camera here and the train stopped in front of it and about a block and it had its momentum to get lights. And I have the settings as a two and a half second shutter speed, a full 3.5 aperture, 15 millimeter lens focal point, and a low ISO. As soon as the train started picking up momentum, I took the shot. I was really happy. I was able to get a portrait in there. The unfortunate part is you can't see the Apple store. So you really can't have the best of both pictures there. You either get an up close or you're gonna get a background. Couldn't achieve both. But I was really happy with the outcome of getting the, the train trails in downtown. So check out the picture. 
All right, I'm super pumped how it turned out tonight. My main goal was to come down here and get a, a portrait in front of the train for some light trails. I did try to get and take it in front of the Apple Store. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but I'm really super happy with the results. If you have any other ideas on what I could do in front of the Apple Store, maybe a, a background of some sort. Not sure I can mix it with a high aperture focal point, but it turned out pretty, pretty sweet. All right, I got my helmet on. I'm gonna take the scooter back in, back home, start editing the videos. Let me know your ideas if you like this video. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, now we're gonna jump on one of these spin scooters and head back home so we can edit the vid, edit the video. Does anyone say vid? I don't know.